what's up there? Do you like my new sweater? Sorry, it's not for sale, but you can make your own with the Fair House. So for this holiday season, we provide a new clothing try-on template, holiday edition. You can customize the texture on this sweater on your own and submit a fact so you can try it on with your friends and family members. Without further ado, let me show you the process. First, you need to find the material that apply to this sweater now. So as you can see, if you click onto the sweater, uh, you will find the material we're using here as sweater mat. So sweater mat, you can see is under sweater asset. Let's go find it in the asset panel. So sweater asset, find sweater mat. It actually have um, multiple texture applied to it that contribute the final result. So if you close the texture, you will see it become a white sweater and uh, you can adjust the color on it and we'll have different color as you like. If you turn it on, it will have the pattern which will look more realistic like a sweater. Another thing that we apply is the normal texture. So normal texture basically add actual depth to all the sweater um, lines so that uh, it will give you the illusion of the depth. Uh, you can adjust it as you like if you want to have different pattern of sweater. Um, the last thing we are adding here is the texture of MRAO. So it actually provides a uh, certain kind of uh, lighting mimics. Um, if you turn it off, you will see some like artifacts showing up on the sweater. It doesn't look really realistic. So we apply it to make sure the light is uh, applied correctly on the sweater model. Um, so today I'm going to focus on how to adjust the albedo channel of the material. So as I showed before, you can just simply adjust the color. I will keep using the white color for now and also modify the texture as you want. Now I'm going to walk you through how to customize your own sweater texture. First, you need to pick a design tool as you preferred. Today, I'm going to use Figma. So Figma is a um, free design tool that you can access through their webpage. Uh, you can use Photoshop as well, uh, or even Procreate on iPad, whatever you pick. So I already created a design file in Figma. Also, I placed this design asset I'm going to use for today uh, for this holiday vibe. I have the Christmas tree, I have the ginger man, and our little Archie. I'm gonna make a sweater that basically let our Archie surrounded by those stuff. So first, I download the texture from our website. As you open it, we'll see all the asset is here. We're gonna use this sweater base color plan texture today. As you can see, it basically have two identical sweater um, texture. What we need to do is we need to place our pattern onto it. Um, so the result will be look like this on the left side. Um, so the sweater on the bottom actually will be the texture showing up front. The sweater on the top actually will be the texture showing at your back. So first, let me copy this texture from the folder into Figma. And uh, let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Now make sure the sweater is in the same group of those assets and put it at the bottom. And now what you need to do is just simply 
move things around as you like and um, thinking of like making it a big Christmas tree Archie is standing under it maybe behind it yeah and this socket let's put it over here bring it from Okay, here we go. We are finished our design. And we what we need to do, we need to export the whole image. Just click onto the export my sweater. It is exporting. And now we have our sweater pattern ready. We need to import this texture into Effect House. How can we do that? Let's bring our Effect House project back. And uh, the easiest way is you can basically drag this PNG file into asset panel. And uh, you will see it show up here under textures folder. And uh, the next step would be you need to replace the current texture using your own texture. First, you need to find the material, which is sweater mat. So under sweater mat, you will see the current texture is sweater base color. Click onto it and replace the texture using your own texture and click on OK. Now it is look like your design. And uh, you can also switch it to a different model to see how it look like on different people. Yeah, we have plenty of options. Uh, and just make sure you test it on different group of people. An extra tip for you, you can customize the color of the jeans by simply find the jeans model and to check what's the material that apply to it right now. Um, it's jeans mat. So we're gonna find it in the asset panel and also check the base color that is currently applying to the jeans. Um, what we can do is just click on the color slot and adjust the color on the color wheel. Just pick the color you like. I'm gonna pick red for now. A bit of red and green sweater. For the holiday okay that's it for today hope you enjoy it and don't forget to submit your effect on tiktok and share it with your friends and family this is gonna be a really special ar effect gift for this holiday season okay see you next time bye bye